Yo, what's up, y'all? It's your girl, Ting. Y'all back at it again with another YouTube video. It has been way too long. You know, like, it's crazy. Um, I've been, you know... Uh, yeah, whatever. Um, but I'm here to share my three-year lock update. I feel like I did one already, but this one is going to be specifically the things I have learned about having locks three years in now that y'all should know before you start your locks you know as you're beginning your lock journey or even if you're like already in the game um these are some tips that i learned that i'm gonna pass on to you um because having locks is not easy like forget what they tell you it is not easy having locks but we're gonna get into it so the first first thing i'm gonna tell you is you have to be extremely extremely selective with what you put in your hair a good, a good rule of thumb is like if it's thick, don't use it unless you can dilute it with water. The thinner, the better. I mean, thin and effective because at the end of the day, you still want it to do what it's supposed to do. You just don't need it to be thick. So right now, currently, I'm in a transition phase of deciding what products I'm going to use because for a couple months, I haven't been using anything just so I can like avoid putting like heavy products into my hair because i had a really really bad experience using a particular shampoo i believe it was a tali Wajid bamboo milk shampoo which tali Wajid has a really really good line of products unfortunately that particular shampoo didn't work for me because it was too thick it was so thick that like it got stuck in like the back of my locks back here i don't know if y'all could like well it's good. I was able to wash it out. Like, I literally had to use a shampoo that my mom had to wash out the shampoo that I had put in my hair. Like, that's why you want to avoid having thick, thick products because they'll stay in your hair. They'll dry up. So your hair is going to have this thick, you know, cast of white on it. So it's going to look dry. It's going to flake up. And it's going to stink. It is going to stink. So be very, very careful with the products that you use in your hair. And I might make a video coming up on, like, my new routine once i figure that out once i figure that out get my life together i'm gonna film that video for y'all and making sure your hair your products are not thick is a good rule of thumb which leads us to my next 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 thing which is yo make sure your hair is dry and i am so so guilty of this like um whenever i go get my hair done out um, my stylist has me under the dryer for like over an hour specifically because my my locks are small and skinny and I have a lot of them and they're they're getting longer <laughs> so they're getting longer <laughs> so um it's it's a lot on my hair to dry but me at home doing it myself I'm not waiting that long I am not waiting that long so don't do don't do like how I do it because if I don't dry my hair properly, it's gonna be damp. It's gonna have a weird smell to it. I haven't seen any evidence of mold or anything like that, but they say it could happen. They say it could happen. You know, it hasn't happened to me yet, but <laughs> try, do your best to dry your hair. I'm trying to find um, a cool, like, dryer, like, stand situation so that it'll be easier for me to do it at home because before I was just using like oh good old hand dryer it's not it's not it's not the tea it does not work um yeah so make sure you dry your locks thoroughly my next tip is decide how you are going to maintain your locks like, are you going to do them yourself or are you going to go to a stylist regularly? And here's the thing. If you go to a stylist, them coins add up. Like, for me to do my hair, a wash and retwist is $100 excluding tip. And here's the thing that I know, but apparently, depending on your last retwist or how much new growth you have, they will charge you extra. I found out in a very annoying way. But let me just let you know. It is very expensive to get your locks done. And that's me going to like legit like natural hair salon. I don't know what sis down the hallway is charging you. But 
typically if you go to salon it's going to be close to a hundred dollars so be aware of that and how that's going to affect your pockets now you can do it yourself but that's you buying your own products and that's you putting in that time you know that that wrist arm strength you know um so it's expensive right now i'm currently trying to transition back to doing my hair myself but y'all it's so much work it is so much work i do not want to do it do not want to do it and the last last thing that i'm going to share is yo trust the process like your hair is going to grow regardless it may not grow how you want it to grow it may not grow how fast you want it to grow but your hair is going to do what it wants to do so literally you just gotta like sit back and just chill let it let it do its thing like i remember in the beginning stages of my locks oh my god like in my third month lock update my hair was twisted and it was so short and i was just like i hate this so much but like y'all like three years in hang time hang time so your hair will grow specifically like if you want a benchmark of like when you would start to see results it's usually around like the second year that your hair starts to drop and you start to see like it grow so i mean if you want to get to my level trust the process and be patient and let your hair do its thing so I hope y'all enjoyed this cute, cute video. I had no notes. I was just rambling mostly because I wanted to film this video. And I don't know, talk to y'all. So I will hopefully see you in the next one. I hope y'all are doing good in quarantine. Well, we're not quarantined anymore. But I hope y'all are doing good. Stay washing your hands. Stay wearing your mask. Get vaccinated if that's what you want to do. If you don't, take your precautions. And I will see you when I see you.